Good evening, esteemed television watchers. Next Java News Information Program is on air. Let's take a look at the general chronology of the last week. On February 5, President Ilham Aliyev signed a decree on the indexation of labor pensions. On February 7, President Ilham Aliyev, First Lady Mehriban Aliyeva and family members cast their votes in Hankende City. On February 9, an event was held in connection with the 100th anniversary of the establishment of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Let's have a glance. On the 5th of February, President Ilham Aliyev signed a decree titled as On the Indexation of Labour Pensions. According to the decree, all types of pensions were indexed and increased by 11.2%. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev, First Lady Mehrivan Aliyeva and family members cast their votes at the polling station 14 of the constituency 122 in Hankende city. On the 9th of February, an official event was held on the occasion of the 100th establishment anniversary of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Fahad Najafli, the plenipotentiary representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Anar Ibrahimov, the Deputy Chairman of Ali Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Sabihim Madov, the Prime Minister of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, other officials and public representatives preliminarily visited the monument of the national leader Haider Aliyev in the main square of Nakhchivan city. The event continued at the Haider Aliyev Palace in Nakhchivan. A website, Postage stamp and posters dedicated to the anniversary prepared by the Ministry of Digital Development and Transport of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic were presented to the plenipotential representative, state and government officials in the foyer of the palace. In the photo exhibition organized by the Sharkapsi newspaper, photos reflecting the rich nature, centuries-old history and unique monuments of ancient Nakhchivan in connection with the 100th anniversary of the Autonomous Republic were introduced to the participants of the event. Fahad Najafli, the plenipotentiary representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Anar Ibrahimov, the Deputy Chairman of Ali Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Sabuhim Madov, the Prime Minister of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Isahabi Bayli, the President of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, Elbrus Isayev, Director of Nakhchivan State University and the corresponding member of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, Honored Scientist, Haji Fakhreddin Seferli, all conducted speech at the event. Afterwards, a video showcase dedicated to the 100th establishment anniversary of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic and the movie called Great Land, Great Leader, prepared by Nakhchivan Television, were demonstrated. The event continued with the artistic part. We continue. Cooperation between Nakhchivan State University and IBM, the world giant in information technology, is expanding. With the financial support of the Trade Unions Council of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic and the organization of the Nakhchivan Matas Families Public Association, the rest of the Matas Families continues in our block. More details in our next news block. On the 7th of February, early presidential elections were held in the Republic of Azerbaijan, which regained its sovereignty. Water turnout was observed in 310 polling stations in six constituencies in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. In general, the voter turnout in the precincts was higher than 82%. OSCE, Organization for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights, short-term observers appointed to Nakhchivan from Switzerland and Russia shared their impressions with NTV News during the early presidential elections held in the Republic of Azerbaijan. We observed nearly, I think, 10 or something, 10 or more polling stations. So what we can say is that the uh, people are so nice, so so welcoming us. Uh, we really enjoy being here. The Hichiwan is uh, so beautiful and uh, 
well, my partner, she's from Switzerland and uh, she feels like at home because of these beautiful mountains. Absolutely, this is like the official information you can find in Baku mm -hmm. in our OC mission. Yeah, and we're here to observe and then to connect with the people from Baku. And then the, uh, the official press conference will be also held on the 10th of uh, February, so all this information they can find in. All we can say is that the people are very respectful, very uh, cooperative, and uh, the, the real, uh, it's like the real treasure is people. Yes, it's my first uh, time here is in Azerbaijan, and it's it's such a beautiful uh, country. As I said, I come from Switzerland, and I really feel home here. Yeah. Yeah. For example, yesterday we, we, we met in, in a school uh, a lady, an English teacher, who has been uh, working there for 40 years, who is in, in, a, in a committee, so it was really nice to connect to, to the people there. After the conclusion of the voting process in Nakhchivan, our people embraced a genuine festive atmosphere from the moment of the preliminary results of the election were announced. Support matches for President Ilham Aliyev were organized in all parts of our country, including in Nakhchivan, Karsorkis streets and avenues with our three color flags and slogans of victory. Nakhchivan State University is expanding collaboration with the world you know of IBM company in the field of the information technologies. According to the memorandum signed with the company, a programming engineering institute will be established within the higher education institution. Measures continue to meet the demand for drinking water in autonomous public, ensuring residents access to clean drinking water. The construction of the water line initiated in December of last year in the village of Deste in Odbat region has now been completed. The financial support of the Council of Trade Unions of the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic and the organization of the Nakhchivan Matters Families Public Association, the rest of the families of Matris in Agbala continues. Another 42 family members of Matris were sent to the Agbala Recreation Center. The caliber for the first time showcased the unique footage captured during the anti-terrorist measures carried out by Azerbaijan Armed Forces in Karabakh on September 19-20, 2023. The battleground was in the Agdara region. The footage not only captures the courage and heroes of Azerbaijani soldiers, but also highlights their high level of professionalism and coordination. The video notably emphasized how the soldiers from friendship connections with one another, highlighting the camaraderie and genuine sense of brotherhood that units of our troops. Nakhchivan Veterans Public Union held an event on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic and membership cards were presented to 50 veterans. A mass grave was discovered near the fortress walls in Askeran settlement of Khojala region. Excavation were continuous around the remains found in the cemetery. The remains of eight people were found in the mass grave. This number is likely to increase. A mediator was organized in the area with the participation of foreign media representatives under the organization of the State Commission on Captive and Missing Citizens. Zaur Ismailov, an employee of the institution, in an interview with journalists, put forward the possibility that the human remains found in the cemetery belong to the residents of Khojala. In connection with the 100th anniversary of independence, the play The Rising Sun on the Shore of Aras is being prepared on the stage of the Nakhchivan Theatre. Famous artist Behrus Kengerli was commemorated in Nakhchivan. In connection with the 100th anniversary of independence, the play Rising Sun on the Coast of Aras is being prepared on the stage of the Nakhchivan Theatre. The drama based on the work of the same name by poet-playwright Hassan Aliyev Vazli has a unique role in instilling patriotic feelings in young people.
An event dedicated to the Artist Memorial Day was held in Behrouz Kengerli Museum. Speakers at the event talked about the rich creativity of the famous artist, and the artist Samad Mimado presented the album of Behrouz Kengerli's creativity to the museum. At the end, there was an introduction to the exposition of the museum. It's Sim Television Watchers that was all for today. Hoping to be together next week at the same time. Thanks for watching us. Goodbye.